Hey y'all, welcome back to the Rat Shack. Today we're talking about the ICM Simple Systems Comfort Control Center. Now, how I found this product was uh, Rather Be Fishing told me about it, but I was in the process of looking for alternatives for my customers who wanted either efficiency upgrades or comfort upgrades to their single phase uh, permanent split capacitor motors and that got me to looking into evergreen motors and into the which is a regal below product and into the emerson product which is the rescue ecotech motors now both of those are true ecm motors <clears throat> constant torque motors like the x13 but the other product out there is this uh, comfort control center that's put together by ICM. Now you may, you'll recognize ICM because we've been using their uh, generic defrost control boards and fan control relays and things like that for a long time. They also build components for um, a number of OEMs, carrier and train being two that I know of for sure. So they've been in the HVAC industry for a long time, but this is a new offering, not real new but in my area it's relatively new um, Buddy LeBlanc is the uh, area manager and he uh, hooked me up with a couple of these things and I put this one in the house and show you what it does what this does is it takes an existing single phase PSC motor and turns it into an ECM motor but where I think this outshines normal ECM motors even drop in replacements like the Evergreen and the Ecotech is that you can control the frequencies, the highest frequency and the lowest frequency, as well as the range of frequencies that run that it runs in between. So let's say you have it set at the lowest frequency of 25 hertz and the highest frequency of 50 hertz, and you can control what frequencies it runs in in between those as well. The, the coolest thing is why it's not just a motor controller and it's actually a comfort control center is it, there's two sets of inputs <clears throat> temperature inputs on this. As you can see your thermostat wires come in right here now the motor the comfort control center doesn't actually control anything it doesn't bring anything on or bring anything on these are simply um, monitored terminals so the comfort control center knows what your thermostat is telling the system to do and based on that input it does what it does now these two white wires that you see are here, this one is the return air temperature sensor and this one is actually the coil temperature sensor. Now the return air temperature sensor just penetrates the duct and sticks in there. In my case, because I have a sheetrock plenum here, it's um, the wires go through the wall and it's stuck in that way. But the coil temperature sensor actually um, is like the old free stats that we used to put in and it it goes down inside the fins of the coil and actually uh, samples the actual coil temperature so it's not return air versus supply air it's return air versus coil temperature and you can adjust that setting anywhere from 21 to I don't know I think 35 degrees to remove more or less humidity and how it does that obviously is it modulates the motor so if you have it set for say 30 degrees that's your temperature difference then it's going to modulate down into the lower hertz range and move less air across the coil to remove more humidity uh, so we're going to go through a quick setup on this thing and I'll show you uh, kind of how it works so the first thing you do is uh, you hit the select button and it's going to ask you a series of questions is it a heat pump system mine isn't it's straight electric it's a cooling only coil outside of course this is an inner therm indoor unit with a hooked up to a ream outside and it's not a heat pump it's electric heat only um, but your options are yes O active yes B active and obviously no so here is the motor system is it a single speed or a dual speed um, heat pump applications and electric only like mine are single speed a furnace would be a dual speed or a two speed you see it right there uh, the next one is the minimum coil temperature set for 34 degrees obviously we don't want it to freeze up differential mine right now is set for 30 degrees we're in the spring here in Texas and when I woke up this morning 
it was 78 degrees and 72 percent relative humidity this this will go I think all the way down to 31 degree 21 degrees or it'll go even lower so I don't know what the full range is but I'm playing with it I've had it a week and I've been playing with it and 30 seems to be a pretty good compromise right now that's that's keeping the indoor air between 43 42 43 percent and uh, 50 percent so that that's about where I'm I'm comfortable with with everything and not uh, trying not to damage the system minimum frequency 25 Hertz I have it set maximum frequency is 50 Hertz that's the maximum frequency that this unit will allow the motor to run at it will not allow it to run all the way up to 60 Hertz in inverter mode uh, it will when it goes into bypass and I'll explain that a little bit later G call frequency this is if you set your fan for continuous operation then when just the G is calling from your thermostat it will run at whatever frequency you want it to and 27 Hertz on my system seems is pretty close to 600 CFM it's a nice easy airflow and, and keeps the hot and cold spots out of the uh, out of the house as well as uh, fil you know keeps filtering the air um, humidity sensor no now I don't have a humidity sensor um, I do I just don't have it hooked up but here's kind of you know open on rise open on close close on rise and like I said the uh, comfort control center doesn't actually turn anything on or off it just monitors so if you do have a, a humidity uh, control device a thermostat or something then you just plug it in here and you tell this you know what it does and what it's supposed to do uh, and it controls still controls the motor in that mode as well oops I waited too long humidity sensor uh, ramp up time I mean we all know what that is it takes 60 seconds for the motor to get up to full speed um, post purge time 90 seconds that's how long it runs at at uh, a given frequency the last frequency that it was running at um, until it goes down to either the G call setting or off altogether uh, max cool 20 minutes now this is for example at my house right now the max cool setting is set for 20 minutes and if the system runs for 20 minutes in inverter mode and it still hasn't satisfied the set point of the of the thermostat then what it goes into is what's called bypass and they called it they call it recycle time so for 20 minutes it runs and if it hasn't um, reached the set point on the thermostat then it'll run for an additional five minutes so it's um, recycle time is 25 minutes the max cooling time is 20 minutes and um, so that means it'll run five minutes at full speed uh, before it goes back to inverter mode or if the thermostat satisfies it just uh, turns off uh, power adjustment this is for tweaking the input voltage for more or less torque on the motor I'm not exactly sure how it works but I do know this with my old motor it was really noisy this is a 10 year old system and it was the original motor I had the power adjustment all the way to negative 8 to get the noise out um, and then we come back to the uh, main menu so it's pretty easy to set up and it, it's real easy to play with now normally the uh, it isn't down in, in the space like this. I have it down in my utility room so I can come in here and play with it and look at it and see what's going on. Um, but this is a, a standalone device where you hook it up and uh, you know you bolt it to the ductwork or hook it up to a rafter or something and uh, it's, it's up by the air handler in the closet or wherever and you program it and you leave it alone and it's there forever. It's not something that uh, the homeowner or the customer gets to play with on, on you know like they do their thermostats so unless they want to I mean it's an option uh, 